What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Blackwater. I am back in Rock Springs, Texas, scouting for animals. Uh, we've got five clients coming in tomorrow. We got an open menu, Axis Black Buck, Audad, Psych, a Mouflon, maybe even a big velvet red stag. Who knows what these guys are going to go after? Everybody wants Axis to start, but everybody's opinions change when the animals start walking out. It's been super hot. The grass is finally dying off. We might get some stuff coming back on a feeding pattern and not have to chase them on this dadgum travel corridor anymore. I'm going to run in here, grab some drinks, give me a snack, and then I'll meet you guys at the ranch and hopefully y'all can help me find something. see if we can't find something hopefully this is informational for you guys especially you guys that are always asking about coming and hunting with us um hopefully i can get out the big camera and <clears throat> while i'm scouting for these other clients maybe i can find a few different species and uh, show you guys and see if it's not something y'all might be interested in coming and taking a look at it's it's a beautiful place out here tons of animals so it should be fun for you guys won't be any won't be any killing and grilling today since we just are on a scouting mission but uh should should be a good time and get to see a lot of stuff so if you got the kids with you and they don't like watching the the shooting parts then uh sign them up for this because this will be a little more of a safari these are just some young uh mouflon ewes they're the female mouflon and uh there's probably around 400 or so out here on this property so when you're hunting with us out here you're going to see lots of uh mouflon ewes um, a lot of people get them confused with with uh black buck does a lot of people will stop you thinking they're axis or or uh, even get the occasional hey look at that white tail there but uh, they are in fact mouflon they're a sheep and um, we're, we, we really don't harvest many of them. We're, we're looking for the big rams and hopefully we'll get on a few of those here in a minute. This is a smaller mouflon ram. <clears throat> He's not even really, might be 20 inches, probably more like 18, 19, somewhere around there. Um, but gives you a little idea of what, what a ram looks like. We're looking for something that's uh, quite a bit bigger than that. We're hoping to find something around that 28 to 32 inch mark. And so uh, we might find one driving around as the evening goes on. We got about three hours until it gets dark, but that gives you a little idea of what a uh, actual European mouflon looks like here in the summertime. These are our hybrid ibex. Um, years ago, they were basically what you would call a Persian ibex crossed with a Catalina goat. Um, and over the years on this place, we have a little over 300 here on the ranch. And we've, we've done, uh, I can't say we, the ranch manager has done a very good job of uh, breeding back to pure stuff to cross out that flare horn. You really aren't looking for a flare horn look when you're trying to get a hybrid Ibex because you want it to look as much like a Persian or basil or Ibex as you can get. Um, and so that straight back horn confirmation is really what you're looking for. Uh, the main one that I've been trying to get the camera on, he's pretty good. You're looking really on these Ibex here on this property, something in the mid 20s, pushing that 30 inch mark is kind of what we have to offer in our price range. Um, and that one that was in the camera frame there, he's a very good representation of, of the type of Ibex that you'd be able to take with us here on the ranch. That was a pretty good group of axis deer there, probably 25 or 30 in that group. Um, definitely missed some of them with the camera, but um, saw a couple couple bucks in there. There's actually probably a dozen bucks in there. A lot of them were small. Uh, there was a velvet buck in there that was probably around 31. And then uh, one hard horn that was a little wider that looked like he was broke off a little bit up on his tops. And another couple hard horns that were in the mid 20s. Um, really good crop of, of future shooter bucks, but only one in there right now that we'd probably take. That'd be that, that velvet buck. 
But anyways, people ask me all the time, what's my favorite thing to hunt? And that that's it, man. The Axis deer is by far my favorite. I spend so many hours. I've spent so many years studying them, their habits, uh, you know, what they eat, how they eat, how they travel, where they sleep, um, scrapes they, they make and, and the trees they rub and, you know, if they're moving daytime or night and, and, uh, just, I just, I just love them. They're by far my favorite animal that we hunt. And, uh, I, I take a lot of pride in trying to put people on there. Um, I, I've never had somebody that I personally guided that wanted an axis deer that I didn't show them an axis buck. So, um, that's, that's my passion is those axis deer. And that was a pretty good little group. Nothing giant in there, nothing huge. Um, no world records, none of the 36 inches that everybody wants to be guaranteed but but that's a good group of of axis deer and if you like to hunt axis and i say hunt with an emphasis because a lot of people uh mistake hunting for just shooting and killing but if you like to actually get out and hunt axis deer uh this ranch here in rock springs is one of the best places in the state of texas to hunt axis deer at we got a little blind over here that my buddy set up recently. Um, he put a feeder on there and a, and a black plastic blind, so it's about to be hotter than the gates of hell in there. But I'm just driving around, we've been seeing a lot of stuff over here, so I'm going to hop in there. Uh, like I said, the grass has died off pretty good, so I'm hoping that these animals are coming back to a feeding pattern. Uh, we're going to jump in that blind. Feeders should go off sometime between 7 and 7.30, so I got about 10 minutes to get in over there. And then uh, we're going to sit it out till dark, see if we can't find us at least one spot that, that'll be pretty dang close to a guarantee for one of these guys to get a shot opportunity tomorrow evening. Just heard the axis doe bark in the background at me while I'm walking over this way. So that could mean that we won't be seeing any axis over here tonight, but uh, at least we know they're in the area. And I uh, just saw some really big awdad. So hopefully a few of those guys will come in, maybe a big mouflon, just something that's in that trophy quality category that uh, we can get a good feeling about. It's literally about 140 degrees in here in this blind, so this is going to suck for people sitting in here. But if we get some big to come out, it'll all be worth it tomorrow, so I'm going to stick it out and do my job, see if I can't uh, find something, but if something don't come out, I'm going to be extremely disappointed in myself for sweating off this 10 pounds. Vader just went off.
I uh, just got out of the blind. It was a pretty, pretty good night. Saw somewhere around 20, 25 animals. Just had that really good group of big, big Audad right there at the end. <clears throat> Saw a definite shooter mouflon. Had another one uh, that had some more mass. Not didn't have as much width, but had the length and mass on him. He came in some really nice white tail bucks. Didn't see the axis which I didn't figure we did after I heard that one bark at us when I was walking in. But uh, just a, a peaceful, other than being hot, a super peaceful evening in the blind out here in Rock Springs. This is this is an awesome ranch, one of my favorite places in the world to be. And y'all can see it behind me, just ending the night with an awesome sunset. Just, it, it's tough to tough to not enjoy life when you get to do this for a living see these animals every day and and just be out here in the outdoors this is what i was made for what i love to do and i just i don't know man it just, it's it's very humbling and i enjoy it so much and thank you guys for following along and thank you so much for the clients to keep coming back out here and providing my family and i with enough funds to Always keep going, take the girls to do fun stuff and, and my wife to get nice stuff and us to just live an awesome life. So thank you guys so much. And as the sun goes down, we'll end it here on this video. Thanks again for following Blackwater. Be sure to hit subscribe below us. Check out some of our other videos. But other than that, just have a great day, just like we're doing out here. See y'all tomorrow.